I have a confession to make, and it's not easy for me to come to terms with this, and it's not easy for me to accept this. It's not easy for me to accept that I have a problem, and it's not easy for me to accept that I need help. I'm an addict, and I know this, and I try every single day to fight this addiction. It's not easy for me to admit something like this publicly, and I understand the scrutiny that I will inevitably face for admitting this publicly. Dealing with addiction is difficult. It's a day-by-day -day thing, man. It's minute-by-minute. Minute. It really is. I have stolen from my children to feed my addiction, and I've woken up in the morning and watched them cry because of it, knowing that I'll do it again. I've looked my son straight in the eye and promised him that I would never do it again, shamelessly knowing that I, again, just lied to him. But the real problem with my addiction is that my family, my wife, and even my mother encourage and many times support my addiction. And it is next to impossible to kick an addiction when your family encourages, supports, and allows this addiction to flourish and become the monster that it has become. How can you overcome addiction when your family is literally shoving your addiction down your throat? I don't ever want to watch my son cry again to feed my habit. I don't want to make my children cry anymore. I am Sean Bartholomew Strife Esquire, and I am an addict, and I am addicted to chocolate. And I have just spent the last hour and a half on the toilet with what seems like, and I can only describe as, an ass piss. My stomach hurts, my ass is raw, and I may have even lost some skin. But I'll grab a mirror later and check, just to make sure. There's fucking chocolate wrappers and stains everywhere. On my bed, on my shirt, on my hands, and I think I may have even got some in between my toes somehow. It looks like a bunch of horny Hungarian hermaphrodite midges that identify as non-binary pygmy women from Uranus. Had some sort of weird chocolate religious sex orgy ceremony on my chest, and my shirt was the holy napkin. Yeah, yeah, and I gotta clean this shit up before my wife gets home. I'm all sweaty, sticky, and confused, and I could really use a wet wipe. But for the moment, I'm fucking stuck here. Well, because I think my legs fell asleep. And I blame my wife and my mother for my current predicament by encouraging and financially supporting this addiction. I may have even damaged my rectum. I might even sue. Seriously, what if I can't walk straight after this? And I could really use your support. Well, your financial support, Ashley. Please donate to www.helpshawnfindhislostskin.org. I thank you for your financial support and goodwill in this, my time of need. And you could help ensure that a chocolate impoverished child just like my son will wake up Easter morning to, well, chocolate. Without your generous financial support, it would be your fault that my son would wake up the day after Halloween crying and screaming, Daddy, you did it again. You ate all the chocolate. So donate now and donate often to www.helpshawnfindhislostskin. Get a job, be a slave, pay your taxes, what the fuck?